Hey everyone, welcome to another section of my current drawing tutorial on graphic design. Wow, as you can see on the screen, I've drawn the border already, but I'm just going to take it all afresh since I said this is beginner's approach. So I'm just going to Ctrl A, select all of these, then I'm going to delete it. Okay, so I'm just going to delete everything. Everything is gone. All right. Um, so this is my working area in Corel Draw. So the first thing I want to do is I want to double click on the rectangular tool. That's um, selecting your F6 button, or just double click on the rectangular tool. You can see. So I have my um, my rectangular tool in this area. Okay. With that set, the next thing I want to do is I want to copy Control C. Then I want to paste Ctrl V, which means that I have this layer in two different um, sizes. Oh, sorry, in the same size, but twice of it on the page. So I'm just going to zoom up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. So now this is here and the first one we drew. So you can see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the second one. Clicking on this top one, so I'm going to come to this um, object size. Then I'm going to change it to 16.46 by, um, okay, let's use 10.37. So you can see what we have. So I'm just going to copy this, Ctrl C, and I'm going to paste also Ctrl V. It means that this now occurs twice as well. So with the topmost one selected, I'm going to come to my size option and change the size also. So I'm going to be having this size. Then I'll hit the enter button. So we have this now. We have three layers, as you can see. All right, I'm going to um, give the, the topmost one white color. So I, I, I apply white, then I use shift page up to take it to the front, or you just right click on that object, then come to order. Um, in front of bring it in front of the page before it okay all right then i'm going to select the one after it uh, i'm going to give it my color okay which is for now this is the color then i'm going to remove the um, border that's by right clicking on when you right click on this it's remove the border so okay with that i'm going to um click ctrl f11 sorry did i just say yeah ctrl f11 sorry not ctrl f11 just f11 so what i want to do is i want to add another color to this so i'll come here i'll come to select my color the color i want to add you get so once i do that if i'm okay with the design i can just for this design i'm basically using Corel x7 and this works on any version of Corel draw so just that there might be some little differences so i click on this if this is the design you want or if you want it in this way you can see or if you want it in this way depending on how you want yours to look like it's not compulsory you have exactly what i have but for this design this is what i'll be using okay you can see so this is what i'll be using so i just hit the enter button so i achieve what i want actually so i'm going to select this layer and the one at the top together then I'll press on shift page up. That will bring both of them to the top of the page. Then I click on the first foreground um, layer. Then I'm going to apply my color. Um, don't bother if you don't know how I get all of this color. I have, um, okay, what I'll do is I will put all the color code in the description of this video. Oh, okay, I'll put it somewhere along in this video so that you can always get them and apply instead of having to have tough time getting your color. So I'll make it easy for you. All right, so with that done, um, the next thing I want to do, I want to resize this a bit, just little adjustment. So I'll hold on my shift and drag this edge. The reason why I'm holding on my shift is so that it can drag proportionally on all sides okay then the stop most one is still showing um border so i'm going to right click to remove the border okay with that set um the next thing i want to do is i want to pick up my rectangular tool then i'm going to draw something like this then you can right click and click um con convert to curve or you just click on ctrl q 
I don't use the right click button I use key, um, short code most of the time so with that I'm going to do this okay then I'm going to add this color without border so I'm going to duplicate this or if you want to draw it all over again then I'm going to change this to 90 degrees and I'm going to change uh, sorry change this okay now let me quickly explain something here that I want to do so I'm going to make sure that it's at the same top level with this then I'm going to wet them together this is wet option here so such that it becomes a single image you can see that's become a single image so I'm going to just copy this or let me just drag this I'm just going to drag it like this right I'll drop with the right click so I can have um, so you see what I did there so I have it on both edges so the next thing I want to do is I want to um, have my polygon to polygon to this is the default suit I'll be showing there so I'm, I'll select my polygon to then I'll set this to 18 or 20 I love it I like it at 18 so I'm going to hold on my control key and draw this okay so I'm going to give it um, this color without outline so if I zoom up so you can see what I'm doing so I'm going to select my shape to then just going to drag up a bit okay okay depending on what you want you can decide to move around in this manner or you get so it's all dependent on you so the next thing I want to do is my ellipse tool I'm going to pick my ellipse tool or circle tool and I'm going to draw circle okay I'm going to place that center sorry so I'm going to give it a foreground, a foreground background. So I want this to be bigger in bits. Uh, let's do more. All right, with this. Then the next thing is, for the sake of my tutorial, I realized that having to create objects over and over take my time. So I don't want to do that again. I want to be creating my objects such that I just import them when I need them as a vector file. So just like I did for this, I'm going to click on the import button. Then I'm um, going to import this. Alright, let me give this color so you can see what I'm saying. So I'm going to draw this all from the beginning i just have to import it so that it can save me time of having to do this and do this if you don't know how to do this please just indicate in the comment section i'm going to create another tutorial on how to go about that so i want to have my text brand um, award okay and i'm going to be using calibri calibri boot so and I'm going to I use center align then I apply my color I'm going to break them apart that's control K so that I can adjust individual just like I want okay run the word okay so I'm just going to duplicate this to do something crazy Twenty-two. So I'm going to give this white color, and I'm just going to take all of this, group them, and adjust them. Okay. So depending on you, you might want to add some other customization. Um, like um, okay, I can just do this. Give this kind of gray color. You can do this. Depending on you, you might not need this. I don't actually have to do this. I 
it's just telling you that you can always have different customization, different design. So I'm just going to stop this there because I don't actually want to do this. So you see what I have there. So the next thing I want to do is um, I want to okay, let me just group this for the sake of some other things. So the next thing I want to do is I want to import my logo. So I'll be using this for now. Sorry. Okay. So I'll just put this here. All right. So with this set, um, I'm going to speed speed up all a lot of things here. So all we need to know is how to go about this design. So I'm just going to speed up a lot of things here. I'm just going to do some. Okay, so this is just a default text I just copied from the internet. Um, um, Lawrence C do color and all of that splash, you know. So just to just make my text fresh style, let me use a thing. So you get so then I can just go on and work on this. Okay. So let me just create add female text. All right, with this, um, done with my design and oh, something went wrong. Something went wrong. Okay, okay. So at the end of the day, I'm done with my design. You can decide to use whatever name, whatever color that pleases you that you like. You get it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the exact color I use for my design that you use to get. So if you really enjoyed this tutorial, please I want your subscription.